day-to-day -day lifestyle in the Navy in terms of accommodation and schedule. I'd say it's a really sociable and fun environment. There's never a dull moment. No one's ever going to be short of asking you to go for a drink. It's very much so a 24-hour gym. There's a football pitch right outside where I live. There's always somebody about it every time. I do like living in Cornwall. You can finish work and just head straight down to the beach. There's a massive variety of what you can do. When you are going through your first rank, you will be passed around the sections to get a taste of what it's like to work for each area. After being at HMS Rally, I'm going to an airbase. I'm looking forward to this because there's going to be a lot of varied tasks for me to do. After this, we'll be going to sea, and that's also exciting because that's going to be nothing like we've ever done before. I just like being up in the squadron, sort of put under pressure a bit, makes you think more about what you're doing. And also because they are live aircraft, you don't want to be the one that makes the mistake. I'm wanting to be a chef submariner based on the fact that after doing research it just seemed more appealing to me. I like to be independent on the research, certain types of submarines, you basically are in the kitchen on your own so it gives you a chance to prove that you can be independent and prove your skills. With it being such a compact crew, everybody needs to know how to work every part of a submarine. I definitely want to go on ship, definitely want to go around and see the world. That's why you join up, you don't join up to go home every weekend. 19 years old, I travelled to like 24 different countries, the Far East, India, the Mediterranean, and I'd only been in the Navy two and a half years.